So this is now a position where Bingham would usually thrive. He's got the black on its spot, or well he will do when he pots it. Reds to go at, sort of position you'd fancy him to make a big break, and that's what he'll be looking to do, just to sort of break this impasse that's happened in terms of the way the match has gone. Break free of the shackles that have been put on him by Peter Ebden. Uh, once again, some movement. We've seen a bit of that. Ebden has been on the wrong end of it a couple of times. Just somebody moving right in the yard line of one of the players. Well, that's a good shot. Now, that really has opened things up. You can get through to it as well, the cue ball, all right? Yeah, and all right. It's early stages, but three reds, three blacks, and the balls are sitting nicely, you've got to say. You made a maximum last year in this tournament. Well, any sizable break here would come out of the blue. It wouldn't really be in keeping with what we've seen. But like, like as Dave said, there's, n there's not a pack of reds there in any way. And they've already been opened up. For now, of course, his concentration is on just getting to the point of no return in the frame, getting his lead back. Having led 3 0 to be pegged back to 3 all, I don't think a maximum is at the forefront of your mind when you come to the table. Fourth. Maybe in a few shots, though. Well, we've had five in Beijing itself. As I say, he made one last year. Ronnie O'Sullivan also made one here last year. Main thing, though, obviously, get the frame one, which is what he needs just to re-steady himself. 49. Yeah, at the moment, it's more difficult to play on a, a lower value colour than the black. You know, he's not taking any liberties by staying with reds and blacks. It's the obvious shots. Well, <laughs> I think he's OK on that bottom red. And again, it, it seems to be the the right shot to play. 
I'm not sure if it's the one he actually meant to play on. Not that that matters at this point. Doug Gilbert, of course, made the 147th maximum in snooker history earlier this season. Show you long in the Indian Open made the 150th. That's the most recent. For the record, Bingham so far has had four in his career. 64. Sixty-five. Bonus is twenty thousand, plus the seven thousand high break prize. So it would be uh, financially rewarding. Anyway, still not won the frame yet. No, he might just run through here and play on the bottom red. If you can see a different shot, he might play that as well. But the fact that he hasn't played that means he's still concentrating on winning the frame. Seventy-two. And once again, it's probably as easy to play on the black as anything else here. Yep, going to be playing on the black from this. And now the frame is one. There's no reason why he won't run through. He'll play on the red below the black, I'm sure. And certainly, there is less risk attached. Well, this way, playing on that red, he's not got the perfect angle to get back on the black, though. Bit high on it. Well, someone getting a bit excited, maybe, being told to calm down by the referee. Worth yeah. saying, sorry, Neil. I was going to say it's worth saying that although obviously they've become more common maximums, you know, a lot of spectators have never seen one live, so it would be a big deal for them. Yeah, of course, it's, it would be. And uh, he's finally on this red, although he's in on it into the opposite pocket too. He had the thought he'd play on, but he's got it now. A low angle on the black up for the two reds. Not a lot wrong with that shot. Even though the reds are in the at the wrong end of the table, it's not impossible to get reds and blacks from there. And of course, the other red. For a right-hander, it's not so difficult, the one down the cushion. That's well played. That's, that's a nice judgment of pace. It's on now. There's no doubt about that. As long as he's not straight, that's OK. A bit of angle on a shot like this means he can put the cue ball wherever he wants. He's got to decide whether he plays on the the low red here or not. Black with a century. So the big shot, it seems, if this, as long as this goes in, will be how he gets from the red up the table onto the black again. He's already formulating a plan of finishing a little bit low on the black to have the angle to go up for that red. That looks as good as you're going to get, really. Now, really, the audience must calm things down here. We would hate to think of him being put off at this stage of a maximum break opportunity. Well, that's not perfect at all. It's a little bit low. But at least he's got an angle to get from black to yellow. It's the only good thing about that. He wanted to be a little bit straighter than this. 
So it's a natural to come in behind the yellow, but the pot could be missed. Well done. What an opportunity. He's made two of his four competitive maximums in China. This would be his second in Beijing. Needs the six colours. 122. I always make the point here that the pink is very unlikely to ever be on its spot in a 147 break because it's never been potted. But it's in a very good position in the middle of the table. Can be the stumbling block in a 147 attempt. But you'd think not on this occasion. I'm sure he's glad now that he accepted the re rack. We said he was looking for something. This would be dramatic, wouldn't it? Well, he's absolutely perfectly placed on the blue. It's been a fabulous break. Really. Would you ever see a poor 147 attempt when it gets this far in? But this one has been very well constructed. It's not really been in trouble at all. He's controlled it so well. Stuart Fing, a great snooker fan as well as a great snooker player. This will mean a lot to him. Terrific, 147 from Stuart Bingham. You can see what it means to him there with the clenched fist. His fifth maximum break.